as we all know, Trump is an absolute idiot, Brexit is destroying the world, and Mary Penn could potentially do something completely disastrous with France. But I decided I was gonna do a video on something that I know quite a bit about, and something that I have studied for the last five years, well, I'm on my fifth year of studying it, and I wanted to talk about how, where the world is going from, where the world is going to. So, it, without doing all the history and all doing the jargon and all doing the technical stuff, I just wanted to do a simple video to let you guys know what the hell is going on with the world. So the world is going from a very neoliberal perspective. Now, the main idea of neoliberals is that they all kind of, they, it's all very airy-fairy, it's all very flower-powery, it's all very, everyone can work together, oh, international institutions, oh, the EU, oh, the UN, and all of us will get on really well. Now, the re neo-realists are very, oh, no, the world is not going to go very well, oh, no one gets on, very self-interested, very state-centric, very sovereignty is the best thing. And they do believe in the anarchic world. That even if the world's in anarchy, it would still be able to survive because it's all based around what the person and the state wants rather than the global community. Along those lines of the whole anarchic structure, neoliberals don't think that's possible. Neoliberals believe that the world will get on better by working together. So you have um, Group A and Group B. Neoliberals believe that Group A and Group B have to work together to create global unity, uh, work well on the global arena, on the global stage. However, neorealists believe that Group A will look after themselves, very self-interested, and Group B will look after themselves, and they will not be able to work together at all, ever. Okay? So, with that in mind, let's think to current day. If you think to Brexit, Brexit happened because people were sick of the la relaxed rules and how everyone was taking advantage of the UK being in the European Union. We were putting more in than we were getting out of it, we were spending a lot of money, etc, etc. So that was a very neoliberal thing. We worked with the EU, which was an international institution. The generation before me, so you've got Generation X and you've got their predecessors, so their parents. So you've got my parents and my grandparents. Now they, most of them will have voted to leave. That is because they are in a very neo-realist perspective of we can look after ourselves home before away, if you know what I mean. So they want to look after themselves, they want to do their own thing, etc, etc, before working with anyone else. That's what happened with Brexit. Now with Trump, very, very similar. Uh, I loved Obama. I thought Obama was amazing. He's now out of office. I'm really, really upset. The world has gone to pot and I am not going to have a very good future, at least for the next four years. Obviously, Obama was a Democrat. He was very much a liberal. He very much believed that we all work together, we can all be amazing. Now Trump, he wants America to be great again, as we all know. And the idea behind Trump is that he wants the US to lead the world. He wants the US to be this big power again and to lead the rest of them. That's a very neo-realist idea. He wants to look after America and then impact the global community. So that's Brexit and Trump. So the main interest for a neo-realist like Trump and Theresa May, they believe in economic and military power. Now that's the whole, you know, defence and stability. Economic stability is effectively how to keep a country from failing. A lot of other things can happen, but as long as money is okay, they can work it out. Then you've got the neoliberals, so you've got people like Obama, and they believe that you need to increase democracy, you need to increase participation, you need to increase uh, international institutions, and everything like that in order for the world to work. Realism and liberalism are very old ideology and theory in IR. So you've got people like Waltz and Mearsheimer who are very much neo-realists. They're very much realist neo-realists, progression after the Cold War. Then you've got Kiyohane and Fukuyama who are neo-liberals. Now uh, I will link in the description below a couple of their books if you fancy reading up upon it because obviously I'm not doing any referencing here. I'm, for all I know all my facts could be completely wrong but I'll link those four guys in the description below so you can check out their books and do a bit of reading. Some of it can be quite heavy, but once you understand it, you might understand a bit more about the world and what's going on. Cold War. Cold War, the post-Cold War was a turn of the century. Uh, everything new and interesting happened after the Cold War ended. So neorealists believe that post-Cold War will release uh, great power. Great power will emerge from this whole Cold War thing, whilst neoliberals believe that 
there will be increased cooperation because of what's occurred. So if you think back to World War One, World War Two, a lot of treaties were made because people thought that if everybody got on and had a mutual agreement of nobody kill each other, then everything will be fine. With what's going on today, I dread to think what the people, what the citizens of and the people that died after World War II all over the world would think what the hell is going on today. But that's a whole other story. Problem with near realists, so you've got people like Trump and May and a lot of the older generations, they don't, they can't change their view based on international change. So they're very much a this, this and this. This is how this, this and this works. But that's not right. A lot of things change, especially on the international stage. Because the whole world is changing, Neorealists can't fathom change. They don't really understand change. You've got someone like Trump who's saying we need to make America great again. So what he wants to do is drag America back to when they were in their prime. That's not really looking to the future, if you know what I mean. I mean, obviously, if you look into all of the things that he wants to do and all the things that May wants to do, they want to make Britain and the US great but they're very, it's a very old-fashioned view. And then you've got neoliberals. Neoliberals are very flower powery. Oh, everyone will get on really well. Let's, you know, let's all have a cup of tea. The problem is they don't understand the whole greater power thing. They don't understand that power is a very, very important thing on the international stage. You can't have all states equal. You can't have a state like the US who is equal to Turkey or Azerbaijan. You can't have the US equal to those. You just can't do it because of who they are. And that's the problem with neoliberals, that they just don't get that. That's the basics between going from a neoliberal world to a neorealist. Now, obviously, my view is only one. There are millions and millions of people out there, millions of academics and theorists. But that is my view on what's going on right now. Obviously, Trump is now in office. I'm really, really concerned about what's going to happen. Brexit speech was this week from May. Uh, I haven't really... I don't understand. I'm just... I am very concerned about where the future's going and what my future will hold. I'm 24. I hope to travel. I hope to have a job internationally. I hope to be able to utilise my international relations degree and my master's for a job in intelligence analyst, uh, security, work for the UN maybe, contractor sort of thing. The world is kind of doing, you know how the world goes through an ice age every certain amount of years? I feel like we're going through a global government change. So in the UK we go from uh, Labour to Tory, Labour to Tory constantly. And I feel like we're currently going through that but with the whole world. And in my opinion, and this might be a neoliberal opinion, this might be a realist opinion, this might be a constructivist, this could be critical theory based, I don't know. But in my opinion, older generations are screwing us over. And I feel as though we need to take a stand for what we believe in. And we need to take a stand for life. I'm, I'm, I'm really worried about bringing, if I end up having kids, bringing them into the world. Because I don't know what's going to happen. I'm scared that it's going to be very technology based. It's going to turn into a very big brother state. And I'm, I'm excited to see where it's going. But at the same time, I'm very, very scared to see where it's going. And I know a lot of people are in the same boat as me. I'm not over Trump. I'm not over Brexit. And I don't think I will be until it's all sorted out.